I think that there are some good reasons why there is a growing need for contributors in society. The first reason is because organizations are facing an extremely fast changing environment. For almost 40, 50 years, business, organization, society, everything was static. An environment where there are traditional technologies, traditional processes, etc. Then actually workers are sometimes good enough. You take for example banking. If for example banking as a field for 30 years, 40 years was the same. For in fact 100 years it was the same. There were branches and people had to do pretty much the same thing. In that situation actually the distinction between a contributor and a worker is not obvious. But the minute there is change in the environment, technologies change, markets change, organizational, the demands of the organization change, then at that time you need people who are able to operate at a level which is deeper than simply at a process level of saying that this is what I am supposed to do, this is where I will go 9 to 5, this is how I will work etc. Et Suddenly you need people who are going to be able to take responsibility for that situation and find their way through that changing environment. Navigate that change. Navigate, and learn new things on the job. There is a new technology, I may have to learn it, master it, because I have to leverage it for my organization. I may have to deal with completely unfamiliar situations which I have not dealt with before. Today, for example, a telecom company like uh, Airtel, it goes all over the world. Suddenly, the managers who are sitting here who have never managed a multinational are forced to manage a multinational. So they are managing in Africa, in other countries like that. So completely new things are, new demands are coming up for people. New industries are being born. So that is one reason why contributors are very important. There's a second reason why contributors are very important. And that second reason is because salaries are extremely high and salaries are getting in course of time salaries will get higher where salaries grow higher organizations demand value today for example you hear in the you hear in all these um, newspapers and all that from some of these prestige institutions people are getting absolutely fancy salary true that is true but no organization is giving that money for charity they are giving that money because they are expecting that you will create that value. If after two years or three years you have that value you don't create, then you will be out of a job. As simple as that. And then after that you are caught in that state where you have been paid so much that every other job you will feel that you have got underpaid. Every other job looks like you are not getting paid as much as you used to get paid because we connect how much we get paid to our self-worth to our estimation of ourselves. So this high salaries, only contributors will justify those high salaries. So if at all somebody has ambitions of having high salaries, of being extremely <coughs> valuable in organization and people have to pay, then they better be a contributor, otherwise they will not last in the organization with that salary. There is a third deeper point which is coming up. Business and society are becoming deeply interlinked. For example, today there is, it is very hard to distinguish between a telecom company and a media company. You cannot make out a difference, you don't know which industry Samsung is. Are they makers of mobile phones? Are they makers of television sets? Are they a manufacturing company which is the largest producer of LCDs? Who are they? They are in multiple industries playing multiple roles all the time. So all kinds of new complexities, business models are coming up. As that starts happening, people have to go deeper. They have to go deeper into the subject. They have to get very deeply engaged with the subject. They cannot afford to take on a very transactional and very hands-off approach to work. And only then will they come out with, because only at a deep level do apparently disparate ideas, they all come together. Unless I go one level deeper than what the situation is, I will not be able to see the connection between two separate things. If I have only an industry focus, then you might find it is that you know, oh, these industries are separate from each other. But if you go very deep inside, you find, oh, they share the same core competence or they share the same capability matrix on which it is being built or they share the same distribution system or they go even deeper than that, then they find, oh, they, they, you, the kind of thinking that you need in one industry and in another industry is the same. 
this kind of business models that are operating in one industry are the same as another business model. So you got to go deeper and deeper into the subject matter. So that again means that only contributors will take the effort and the energy to plunge deep and to go deep into the subject and to look at the connections between industries. All these reasons together make it imperative that the people who are going to run companies in future are going to be contributors. I may even go so far as to say that we are undergoing a transition. 30 years ago, 20 years ago, we used to want what they used to call the organization man. That is someone who conforms. Someone who is actually going to play by the rules of the organization who is a good corporate citizen. Somebody who will, who will be a good member of society. And such a person was the role model of success. The right colleges, the right degrees, the right pedigree, then you enter the right organization, climb up in the right way, your life was set, everything was set. We are moving to a world where actually only contributors are going to be running organizations. So they are the only people who are going to manage and handle this complexity in a completely new way. And today what you see in the world outside you are is a transition. So you see that in some cases you find that some of the old world people are still there who are in certain key positions but you also find in new industries you have a new breed of people who are coming up. Who are actually talking a completely different language. So that transition is going on. If we want to prepare for the future then we have to think and believe that we have to become contributors today. You cannot afford to have yesterday's formula for tomorrow's success. That is not possible.